I'm changing for yoga. I have a few minutes, but I wanted to say hi. Move my body and oh, my neck, figure out why. Figure out how I can heal through what I'm feeling today and make some progress in that area of my life. Hello. I'm changing for yoga. I have a few minutes, but I wanted to say hi. It's a little gloomy today, which is like kind of awesome. And it's kind of matching my mood, but in order for me to, I'm changing by the way, that's why. You... In order for me to move through whatever I'm feeling for the day, I just sit with it. And I'm really excited to go to yoga because I'm going to move my body and oh my neck, figure out why. Figure out how I can heal through what I'm feeling today and make some progress in that area of my life. And this is what regulating looks like, the ups and downs of listening into your body. I almost slept 10 hours last night. Can't tell you the last time I did that. And my body still feels like exhausted and tired. Um, I think it's kind of like, oh, this is what you've been missing out on. So I'm just listening into that and supporting it. So more sleep for sure. And I really look forward to what this looks like on Friday. I'll let you know. <clears throat> Just finished yoga. I'm resting for a second. It's very dark outside today. Not dark. A little gloomy. Um, and it's raining, which is totally fine. Um, it's not a bad rain either. But I can feel my body today is exhausted. And I said that earlier, even like sleeping 10, almost 10 hours. And I think that once you finally, it's just crazy because every single year I've come here, I have felt that the start of where I'm at is like so much better than the year before in terms of like regulation of where I start, right? The first year I came, it was the first break that I got when Jonathan passed and I dropped my bags in the room and like fell to the floor crying. And it was just like the first moment that I could like sigh a breath of like, no one needs me like you know um my children are safe they're with you know my mom um and I was so so incredibly dysregulated a because I had never done something like this and understood the benefit of it and b because I think I was here in August and Jonathan had died in April so not that many months. Um, and even though I felt really good at home when I made that video and I felt really good yesterday when I made that video, my body is finally accepting the rest that it so desperately is asking for even though I'm doing really, really well in my everyday life. And I'm proud of all four years I've come here to see how it has changed. 
And I think it also goes to show one of the reasons why <clears throat> when I have my clients work with me, I ask that they work with me for a year. It's like my golden standard. And I understand that that's a lot to ask of you and commit to and be like, oh, I don't know you. Like, you know, I'm going to trust you with this. <clears throat> but I do know that this takes time. And if I can give you a full year of understanding in different seasons of your life of spring, winter, fall, summer, which comes with its different challenges and set of challenges. And maybe it's your busy season at work, or maybe it's, you know, a hectic holiday season because of your family and whatever it is, or you're moving. Like there's so many things that come up. You have an entire year's worth of data. And one of the reasons I come back here every year is because it's a data point for me to say, okay, that's where I was at last year. How am I doing this year? Last year, I had an immense amount of pain in my body, like an immense amount of pain. And last year I went to Golden Door in July and then I came here and that was gonna be like my <clears throat> my thing for the year. I um, wanted to try something new because I loved Miraval so much. I felt like I had experienced Miraval and I was like, let's see what else this place has to offer. I was like, nope, that didn't do it. Miraval's my thing. Like Miraval's my place. This is this is my jam. This is my for me. It works for me. And so I got to come here for a few days and slip away from the kids at the end of the summer last year. And I had a massage. It was included at this place, Golden Door, every single day. And I was still in knots when I left. And it wasn't till the end of my few days here at Miraval between the specific massages I get that help stretch me. And there's something called Naga that for my body, because I'm flexible because of being a dancer, my body feels and holds on to pain differently because if my muscles are tightening up from what they're used to as a dancer, you have more pain because your body knows where it can be and um, how good it feels to be open. It's very hard to feel like you're contracting and your muscles are contracting and tightening. And my we were able to work on my pain, like my physical pain within my body and the tightness that I was holding within my shoulders and my neck while I was here. And I even worked on that after I left here, but I would say that we got rid of a good bit of it while I was here. And I don't have that pain this year. Like my body, I was like craving the deepest pressure, like, like I wanted someone to just like dig into me and I don't have that pain or craving anymore this year, which tells me that my body is not craving as much deep pressure. My body is not in as much pain and I've done a really good job from last year to this year to maintain my stress level, if you will, or in that way, if you will. I've also done some work on making sure in my workouts I'm... I have the right posture because I think some of that I was letting things go um, positioning wise in my workouts and I was compensating and hurting my muscles. And so all that to say, I had a lot of work to do and I was just in an immense amount of pain. And I remember even at the end of last year, Golden Door, I was crying and crying. Um, because we did this labyrinth walk. And as I was walking in, I was like, this is it. Like, this is my seven days. This is all I get for the year. And then as I walked out, I was like, my time is over. I don't feel like that this year. I don't feel like I have so much to go back to, but that is because it has been an entire year of putting in more work and supporting my kids in the correct way and moving through things and my children getting more mature and older and helping them learn things and 
this widowhood life gets easier and easier each and every year. And doing this on my own gets easier every single year. And from being someone who did have a partner, I didn't quite recognize how much he held on his shoulders that I chose not to bother with, if you will, in terms of like, that that's, that's not a stress I need to take on. Like, that's going to be fine. That's totally going to be fine. And now I understand some of the pressures or the weight that Jonathan felt um, because I've taken on like the one and only every job. But the longer I move through this process of widowhood, the more I trust that I'm going to be okay. And in the beginning, you're not quite sure. And you know you can get through it because there's literally no other fucking choice. It's like when people tell you, like, gosh, you're so strong. It's like, like, did I have another choice? Like, was there an easy way back out? Because, like, if there was, I probably would have tried to find it. Like, no one wants to feel like this, you know? Um, but I do. I find more trust in life of I'm going to be okay and the boys are going to be okay and our life is going to be okay and I also didn't do that and I'm not knocking whoever chooses their path but I also didn't like swoop in and try to find a man to like put a band-aid on it and I'm not saying that's what everyone does but I didn't like swoop in to be like I need a new partner like I need like, I didn't choose to go fix the things that were broken by adding someone else to the mix. I chose to fix all the things that were broken internally for me. My partner is an added bonus. And one of the things that I feel is so important in a relationship is independence and autonomy, but also support and love and care and we have that beautiful balance and it didn't if I could have I would have like I would have been like yep let me like you can't put a band-aid and then put some neosporin on this and all of a sudden you're like oh there's no scar like three days later like you can't you can't do that with this um I'm sure there's some who do try to do that. That's just not the path for me of what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to say, I've got this. And no matter what, I've got this for the rest of my own life. And yeah, I feel a lot more trust within myself and that's really awesome. I think in terms of my sensory and emotional regulation today, I am sure if you watch this video versus yesterday, you will literally see a difference. I'm laying on my bed. I'm chilling. I'm not by the light. I could care less if you can see the pigmenting on my face. Like I, I don't give a shit. Like I'm coming down off of the curve of because we all in some sense live up there. And I'm probably talking slower today. I'm definitely walking slower today. I'm definitely eating slower today. Um, something has popped up on my face, skin wise, which I never talk about my skin, but um, I almost had like eczema or like a rash, very, very subtle. Like you can't see it in my stories or like, <clears throat> it's it's very small like you'd have to be in person to see it just little tiny little dots um but they hurt like they were they weren't pimples they were just little like it's like a stress marker my mom used to have one on her back shoulder and I haven't had that since Jonathan and I were no longer 
together. He was living in an apartment and it was the middle of COVID or like right when lockdown happened. Um, and Jonathan was away seeking help treatment. Um, I had this like rash on my face and it came back this year, a few months ago. And while yes, I've told you like, it's been a doozy of a few months and this has been actually a really hard year. Um, it came back, even though I still feel like better than last year, you know? Um, but always something tells me and gives me a sign of like, Hey, which is why I really have been diligent on no gluten, no dairy, no corn, which is just such a pain in the ass, but I do it. And I try to be as consistent as I can. Sometimes you want a damn chip, like you know, like a corn chip. I can't have a freaking flour chip because that's gluten. So anyway, you or queso, like chips and queso, come on. But anyway, that's for another day. <clears throat> but I tried to see if it was some makeup I was wearing, like a new thing of makeup I ha had bought. The corn, really, gluten and dairy. Or was it stress-induced? And... um. I'm not 100% sure, but it's 100% clear, and it's only the second-ish, third day I've been here. Um, and so my skin is, it always ends up clearing up while I'm here. And my taste buds are actually changing. I was craving a lot of sweet flavors when we first got here, and I'm not really craving that anymore. Um, yeah, I think that's it involving sensory and emotion regulation and what's going on with me emotionally and the journey that always remains. But it's a good journey. See you tomorrow.